Well, all right, here we are. You know who I am, Pastor Bobby D. Hamilton from the Friendship Community Bible Church in Sweet Sugar Land, Texas. And this is Move Monday. As you can see that I finished my sunrise run and I thank God for my sunrise six this morning. And here I am once again. I've been moving and moving and moving. Today, you know, this is the day we set aside to encourage each other. This is not a condemnation session. It's an encouragement session to encourage one another to do just that, to move. It's about mobility, moving our bodies. And, and so many weeks and so many months, I've been telling you to move. I made a solo endeavor. But this morning, I want to encourage you to actually move in terms of move, motivating others. I want you to be a recruiter. Because some of you are moving. You're doing push-ups. You're walking. You're doing synchronized swimming. You're back in your gyms. You've got home gyms. You're in your yard. You're out planting. You're doing a lot of things. I, I hear from you. But I want to ask you today to, to take that step over. You've got some friends, some cubicle partners. You've got some neighbors who do not move. And today I want you to make it your ambition to be an encourager to mobilize two people. How many people? Uno, dos. Two people to get two people today and encourage them to move. I want you to ask them if they perhaps even move with you. You can encourage them to walk with you or ride with you. Or you can just go over there and walk back and forth each other's house. That will constitute a move. But you've got some people in your circle of influence who do not move. And I want you today to make it your ambition, make it your drive, your goal, your Monday goal, is to find two people and to encourage them also to move. Because you know, you know without a shadow of a doubt, you know their dietary habits, <laughs> you know their caloric intake, you can look at them and tell what their cholesterol levels probably are. You know without a shadow of a doubt they are couch potatoes. Matter of fact, they're not just couch potatoes. They're, they're captain chair couch potatoes. They've got the big screen. They've got the big bucket. You understand what I'm talking about. And I'm saying you love them. You love them. You love them. And it's part of your love and you ought to encourage them to begin to move, to just do some, some, some dips. <laughs> or do some do some planks or just just simply just those new ASIC shoes that they purchase to take them out the box take them out the closet put them on their feet tie them up and begin to move you shouldn't allow those you love to watch you move and you don't encourage them also to move so it's your day you've got a recruiting project today to find two people to encourage them to move maybe they can't move like you but they can sure move with you and today i want to encourage you also to go to youtube yesterday i preached a message i mean this family series and i talked about the idea about keep living after a loss I preached out of Ruth chapter one about how Ruth's dream was shattered. And you know what that is like to have a dream shattered. As a matter of fact, if I ask you the question, what dream of yours has been shattered? You look at where you are in life and where you thought you would be in life and just the disappointment and just who you thought you would be with and who you thought would still be with you. And they're not there. And you've had a dream deferred. You've had a dream shattered. And, and, and I ask you this question, how's your spirit? How's your heart? Ruth became bitter. She became bitter to the core, but yet God, God had a, a better dream for her. God had another plan for her. God had a greater will. God wasn't through working with Ruth. And I'm telling you today that God's not through working with, with I'm saying, Naomi and with Ruth. Well, you also, you're the very same way. Naomi lost everything, everything that was near and dear to her heart. It's almost that God just tore up the script, but when he tore it up, he began writing a new script that was better than anything that she ever dreamt or desired. I know so many times you think that we as preachers, we just make platitudinal statements. We talk about the sweet by and by. No, I know we're in the nasty here and now. I know that. But I'm saying that, listen, you've had a dream shattered. You've had a plan that's been ripped. You've had some gold that you don't see materializing before you get out of here. How's your spirit? God wants you to know I'm not through with you. I will send a barley harvest. So I want you to go to YouTube and look, pull it up, friendship, the service yesterday, and sit there and meditate on it. Marinate on it in your mind because you got to leave after a loss this life we live in this world we live in is a land of loss you lose opportunities you lose people you lose money you lose health you lose a myriad of things and you have to be able to be able to keep on living but living by faith and not by sight and living by faith and not by your feelings you gotta let God show you how to only God can show you that it's painful but God knows how to pull you through the painful moments. Somebody can put a praise right there. Also, I'm going to be dealing with the singles on tomorrow night. I'm going to do a special Zoom call for all the wonderful singles at Friendship and surrounding this country because we've been talking about uh, 
enjoying your singleness. And we've been talking about what it is, what it is not, and how to date, and how to honor God. And, and, and you guys have been so transparent, so real. I'm going to be Zooming. Go to our church website. If you want to participate in that Zoom tomorrow night, go to the church website. I'll include you in the Zoom, and we can hear your face and hear your comments also. Because it's a, it's, it's a very tricky endeavor in the times we live in. God wants you to be able to keep living after you're lost. And today, you're alive. Live, live, live. And while you're living, don't forget to move and find two people to say, come on, you're going to be my moving buddy. See you soon at Friendship, a place to begin again. Whew, great day, great day, great day.